Hello and welcome back to Control Alt Ego. I uh, I was gonna talk about what I think an imsim is. I know it's a it's almost like a hot topic, and you know I think that um, like I've seen a lot of takes online in terms of like what an imsim is. There is like an official definition as sorts. Ooh, okay, hold on. There might be baddies in here. Uh, there is a bug trap at the very worst I, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I, I think that my def my, my definition of a name sim is really just relies on the player having Enough options. I think that like three options are the minimum before something could be considered an name sim of like approach and that's basically it like um, You know there's there's obviously more going on, but I'll talk about it in a sec. The following method compares a number of dads in ego mode and returns the best one. Void compare dads, dads, dads. <laughs> to do, compare ego cost energy. To do, also take into account sensor block status. To do, also take position into account. Throw new not yet implemented exception. So I, I feel like... Um, you know, uh, Imsim is going to rely on exploration in some sense and um, options for getting through like a challenge or even just an area, a circumstance. Pupchuck has been control corralled pending full expungification. Reason, his disc has been deemed too grave a risk to the proper order of things. So he has a disc. He's got an upgrade.exe. Can I... Can't jump over that. Can't. Oh, oh God! I didn't realize that jumping on the trap would destroy me. Does that mean that that uh, disc is lost forever? Pup bites. Uh. Okay. Interesting. I guess I could have access this area a lot sooner because there's some dads down below in fact i think i might even need those dads damn it i really messed up yeah i think the point of this room is i'm gonna need some dads um i know that there's a like prevailing opinion that im sims have to be first person i don't necessarily agree with that because I've, you know, I, I feel like, um, can we actually get, hold on a second. I feel like, uh, I feel like Rain World is honestly an M-Sim. And I know that most people are gonna completely hate that opinion, but I don't really care. Um, hold on a second. Um, mm, I know, oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, we could have accessed this area a lot sooner. Um, oh, unfortunately, I've put it on, like, the worst angle possible. I suppose if I can just grab that... Hmm. Nope. Nope, none of that is going to work. What I could do is grab one of these ether containers and then just shuffle things around. Mm, that's not gonna work either. Okay, I need a different angle Oh, why don't I just grab the other dad? How come I can't reach them? Okay, something weirds happening where I can't reach that dad despite being able to see them so I'm going to come back down here and then see if I can grab... Is, is, a, is a, a, a bug soft locking me now? Not that kind of bug. Well, this is kind of a bummer. Hold on a second. Tell you what, let's, um, can I grab that? No, I can't shoot this through this fence. 
I think that the uh, number of approaches uh, available to the player in Rain World and the methods in which you explore the world uh, would, for me personally, deem it to be an imsim. Um, you're welcome to disagree with me, but I, I'll tell you this for nothing. I don't consider it a Metroidvania. I know that that is a... Uh, I've seen that take, and I can't disagree with it more. I, I think that that is, like, just objectively incorrect. Um, there's, like, a really almost, like, kerfuffle, almost, like, divisive opinion about genre in general online, and it's really strange. I've, oft, I, like, more often, more than ever, really, I, I've um, kind of maintained the opinion that genre is not a very good way of defining things because it uh, gives you a, an expectation that might not necessarily be true. Something might be strictly, uh, you know, defined by a genre something might like be very influenced or be very true to a genre might you know but it might also not like you know genres blend okay i think that's the disc i think it is no that kind of just looks like a piece of the pup i feel like i've lost that disc forever I really hope that's not true. There's there's the pup. I I oh there's some bug parts. I guess those are bug trap parts as well. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Cause like the problem is is that the only one that can get through here is the pup. Can I jump over this? Oh god, nope. I suppose what I was supposed to do is um, take control of these bug traps and then destroy them before I meet them. That would have been the correct idea. Let's just, uh, let's suck some ego out of them. We have uh, uh, a surplus of juice right now, so I'm gonna feel okay about doing that. And then I'll take control of one of those. And detonate it. No. Um, control space detonate. Okay, okay, okay. Now we need... There's a lot of parts in there. Can I vac them, you think? I want to get in there really badly. I definitely super messed this up. I wonder if uh, this would be worthy of loading, to be honest. Because I, I see what I was supposed to do, and um, sometimes you eat the bear, you know? That's true. Okay, this isn't that long ago. Oh, we also have another dad here. I suppose... Uh, no way we can get that dad back. It would be very difficult. Oh, what? God damn it. I... Yeah, I'm gonna load that. I, I just like 100% walked right into some explosive canisters. That was 100% uh, a mistake. But yeah, I, I don't know. I've just, I've never found um, genre to be a particularly good way of defining things. I, I just don't know what to expect anymore when someone refers to something as an MSIM or as a roguelike or even as a deck builder because then there's engine builders that are similar in nature but don't involve cards then there's like 4x games that really are vague i know that people like honestly 4x games are funny because they are fairly strict in definition but um their actual like definition is vague like 
You know what I mean? Like most 4X games are going to play very similarly. <clears throat> but oh, but I think the the actual definition of a 4X game is like surprisingly vague. Like wh what is expand ex like extort what is it uh exploit extermination like it the actual like what a forex game means feels so incredibly vague that's like oh, that just sounds like video game but strangely if you like most forex games are actually you know pretty strict in how they are defined you know safely what to expect Okay, so I'm a little bit worried about that canister there. This is uh, proving to be um, a challenging obstacle. I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh. Oh right. I I kind of want to just take. Oh hold on. You know what? Let's uh. Let's ego suck this thing and then take control of it. This arm. Does it get unhappy when you disarm it? Kind of feels like it does. I kind of want to like take control of this bug trap and then um, explode it just to see what happens. didn't really do it didn't really do much is there is there a way to get over this that i just don't know about it might be that i need more energy might be that i have to roll this thing over back oh yeah i mean this is insanely dangerous but hey it's a method Hmm, can I jump on the scrap of this guy? Yeah, I can actually. I would love to get the broken bits over there, but we're not going to worry about it. Now let's grab our bug. And um, there's two more bug traps I'm going to want to blow up. Oh, we're out of juice. Let's go grab some juice. Um, yeah, let's Let's ego suck that guy and then ego suck this guy I don't have to do that, but but it's free so I may as well. Well, it's not free, but you know Okay, so that's that now we can go back to our pup up there and grab everything. I really wish I could grab all the bits here. There's so many bits. Maybe I can box them all over. I don't think this is worth it. it I could do it for sure. I just don't, I don't think it would be worth it. On. Oop. Yeah, grab that ego and grab this battery and we got ourselves an upgrade disc. Nice. Not sure what I'm going to spend that on. Um... Disassembler, telescopic drill attachment whose primary function is to break bad bots into broken bits. Makes a lot of noise. Introduces defaults. Uh, heavier objects make more damaging explosions. Oh, wait a minute. Shift. Can shift heavy objects at range to wherever you aim. I kind of want that. Glitch is a grenade. Shield is... Siphon energy from nearby ethermatic targets. Absorbs a proportion of all incoming damage. Replenishes your bug's energy. 
Waltz unharmed through deadly bug traps. Let's grab that. That sounds really good, and it kind of works for my build. Um, upgrade recharger to replenish energy faster. Upgrade siphon to steal energy faster. Um... 20% of incoming damage. Let's uh, upgrade the shield part of that. Uh, it just occurred to me, Vac, can we do anything with Vac? 100% more ego fragments when breaking hostile. No, it doesn't look like it. I suppose I could upgrade this nearby bits in one continuous action. I wonder if this will let me suck up parts through walls. Actually, yes. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, it doesn't really work. It still does not, it still collides with things, but I can now grab these parts. So that's worth it. Is that spending juice though, or is it not? I, I kind of love that. I wonder if I just exploited it a little bit. I don't think so. It makes sense to me because these are chain link fence like they you'd think that you would be able to suck Like through them, but not you know, like this makes sense to me Okay, let's let's leave it at that. I got a, a little bit of juice out of it Um, so I still need to get a dad up here For the same reasons I wanted to get one up there in the first place This is a much better position than last time. We get ourselves a worm. Where's our bug? There's our bug. So how many parts are we missing? I think we're just missing like an eye. Yeah, we need one eye and then we're done. Uh, might be tricky to find. Um, eyes can be difficult. Close until further notice. How do I... Oh, Z is toggle shield on off. Okay, so that uses juice, but replenishes our energy. Uh, interesting. Hmm. We need to find an eye. It, this is going to be a bit of a goose chase. I think we got everything in here. I mean, there could be an eye in there, but there is just a lot of parts in general. Pup bites. Like, we could go down here. I've already been down here, but, you know, we can explore. Just uh, kind of retrace our steps, you know? Maybe I've already got all the parts. You never know. Deposit bug parts. Do we have enough for a bug? Whoa, they really mean it when they say, uh... <laughs> oh, that, that seemed to, it seemed to work. We're okay. Oh, what? I didn't mean to do that at all. Um, let's go home. I, I didn't mean to do that and now I am kind of lost. Lost in the sauce. Enter to hop printer bug lock.
Where is this? I'm just realizing, like, what is this room? God, I got very lost in this game. Wait a minute, Pup Wotevs. Let's go into Pup Wotevs. Pup Wotevs is close? No, Pup Wotevs is not close. So there's bug 22. Where's the other bug? Okay, I'm not seeing the other bug. So let's uh, hone to pups. Because I know one of the pups. Is it Pup Bites? Is close to the other bug? Yeah, there we go. No disc. Am I just supposed to transport this guy? I don't seem to be able to drive missing. No disc drive. Hmm. Okay, so he doesn't have... That's interesting. I've made a mistake. I revived this mum. So we need to give this uh, bug ASM a uh, disk drive. How we do that? I have no idea. This is not something I've uh, had to learn. Have they told you any more about what's going on? We've been confined to our desk for our own safety. When I asked the dad, he just said scanning an anonymous voice like he had become a robot slave or something. Oh, you can give me some uh, energy, right? Don't ask me why I took control of this mum. It's honestly just for out of convenience. Can I go through here? Doesn't really look like it. Nope. But I can go through there with the pup. So yeah, where where are we gonna find this uh, disk drive? Was I supposed to use? No, there's no way I was supposed to use an exe, like upgrade exe for for that, right? That makes no sense to me. Hmm. Well, at least... Okay, let's go back to Mum for a second. We only... There's only the one thing close to this bug over here, and that's our Mum. So we should just keep them nearby. I suppose we also had this Pup Bites. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to just, like... Like, not take control of them, but can we print them? Nope, we can only print bug 22. Okay, let's, um, let's get into our other bug. I am, like, lost. Very lost. I am, like, very lost. I have no idea where I am in relation to that one room. But let's get there all the same and we'll figure things out. Oops. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I guess I'm the worst person to try and, like, talk through what I think a Imsim is because I don't even like genre as a means in the first place. Okay, so we're back here. This is a, this is a place that we've been. Hold right click to siphon energy. Oh, interesting. I thought shield was like we could block projectiles and stuff, but I guess not. At least not necessarily. Um, need emergency iris key. We don't need to go through there. I am very lost. No point in going in there. Oh, you know what? We don't have to find it manually we can literally 
There's probably a printer somewhere. Let's uh, filter by printer. And then printer... Not assembler, bug lock maybe? Yeah, this looks correct. So we'll print our bug. Just our bug 22. I am um, kind of, I wouldn't say concerned, but I am a little bit worried that the uh, the idea here. Oh, okay, all right. Ow. The intention here is to use dad to transport it all the way up here. Um. That's going to be tricky. I don't know if I can just find a disc. Let's have a look in this room. I don't know if I really looked in this room. Alerts. Get all merge requests are suspended until further notice. If you have a critical patch pending, please raise an urgent ticket and your fix will be prioritized just as soon as your the consciousness stream fault has been re rectified. So I can very slowly siphon energy out of something. Um, feel like grabbing the ego is maybe more valuable. I don't know. Kind of want to just like, well, I'll just disarm it for now. These uh, bugs can be useful sometimes. Oh. Okay, no, we, we already looked at that. So how in the world are we going to get our bug up here? Hmm. What does this show us? This doesn't really have much of any information. Oh, it does have some ego, though. Wait a minute, what? What is this? In-game... what? Where are we? We have a dad. Out of juice. Well, we can grab some juice if we need to. What? Where? Where is this? Okay, so... Okay, this is interesting. What? We'll grab some juice. I'm gonna grab this bug and put it over there. I just wanna know where I am, really. There's a cage here. There's also a worm. Can't quite grab that worm. I suppose if I exploded uh, this bug trap, I could blow this little guy over. Oh, that actually blows up the cage. Didn't know that. Well, this is an interesting little secret. Where am I? Oh, I'm in here. Oh, we got another worm. Okay, good to know for the future, I suppose. Oh, did we get... Um, we have two mems. Hoppity hop. Increases hop and sensor override speed. I don't really care for that as well. Increase beam strength by 25%. Um, what is... I know I've already upgraded something. Ego cost of control. Increases energy capacity. Increases juice capacity. Increases friendly host ego by 5%. Currently 10. Yeah, we want that. Basically, whenever I can get it. I 
I could increase our uh, juice, I suppose. Beams deal more damage, but only when you are the one firing them. Let's uh, let's grab that. That'll be useful whenever I'm in a situation where I'm in a, in a dad, but shooting an unfriendly dad. Okay, so we're still in this uh, bizarro situation. We have an elevator here. I wonder if this elevator is takes us to the assembler. Wouldn't that be uh, like supremely helpful? Yeah, it totally does. Um, so the question is, does mom have a printer? Space is wheelie. Oh, I guess that's for going up over small objects. Fire Husker. Out of juice. Do we have a dad? Do we have a couple of dads? We have... We have this dad. Oh, I shot the other dad up there. No! Hold on, let's see if we can... Can we wheelie over this? We can't go through there. Mum cannot fit. We just need two dads. I wonder if I can... Can I use... The, nope. We're like so painfully close. I wonder if I just, uh, if I gave mom some printer or some, some juice. I don't know if, uh, mom can print is the, is the problem. I don't think she can, but I guess it'd be worth finding out. I think she can only destroy. Let's, uh, try it on this guy. Um, that guy can't actually be destroyed. Let's try it on a pup. No, the uh, mom only destroys. Hmm. <sighs> we can push him. Okay, that'll that'll work, I suppose. This is silly. I'm sure there's a really really simple way of doing this that I'm not seeing. But this works. I'm I'm okay with this. Okay. So we got bug ASM. That'll I guess do it for this chapter. Um it's been Oh, I guess I should have brought Mum with me. Maybe I can just pu push it with uh, my regular bug. Uh yeah, actually it's pretty easy to to push around as are all weak weak willed creatures below you you know cool we did it all right how, how do we do uh there's like one ego left in that chapter and everything else is gravy we, we did it. We did it really well, actually. I, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, all right. Well, let's call it there. Uh, at maybe after we've looked at this. Voila. Is that it? Space replay. That's it. Collected all friendly. I got a Chivo for that. Um, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys uh, next time. Take it easy.